Hello everyone and welcome to Therapeutic Paws of Canada Pet Profiles. My name is Tia. Some people call me a diva, but I'm a golden retriever. What can I say? I hope you enjoy the story of my life. So sit back, get comfortable, and let's get started. I was adopted when I was four months old by my mom. I left a small cramped apartment filled with a bunch of students and she took me to a house. What a difference that was. This house had a yard. Little me thought I was in a provincial park. Wow, did I walk out. The next day we're out walking and I found I had my own lake. I know, people call it Lake Ontario, but since I've been here, I'm calling it mine. I love getting my feet wet and guess what? I knew how to swim. That was so amazing and it felt so good. One thing I needed to learn was how to deal with what they call stairs in my new house, but that didn't take me long. I was running up and down those stairs in no time flat. In the next few days, I went to meet my grandma. She lived in a place with a lot of people like her, and boy did she love having me there. And the others did too. Truthfully, I think this is how my career started. In the next few months, I did training. I didn't think I needed it, but my mom did, so I did it. And when I turned a year, she took me to a dog therapy evaluation with Therapeutic Paws of Canada. It was fun. And I kept on hearing her say, you aced it, Tia. So I guess I did good. She bought me a new red scarf and a vest, and she got herself a t-shirt. We looked really professional. After that day, we'd been so busy, as my mom became a team leader with Therapeutic Paws. I really don't know what that is, but I met a lot of new friends, and I even helped them become therapy dogs, too. We visit a lot of people, and we have so much fun. After a year, my mom took me to another evaluation with Therapeutic Paws, this time with a bunch of kids, food, and fun. I had a blast, and once again, my mom said I aced it. Now that I aced the kids' evaluation like mom said, I could go visit schools and even more events with my buddies. Remember the diva in me? Just being there, getting all the loving was what I needed, and once in a while, being noticed by the media. We had so many events like the Pickering Santa Claus Parade. We've done that seven years in a row. This one is my favorite. We also do children's programs, which they read to us. I usually fall asleep. I just love being there around the kids, though. And oh, so many schools, and we meet so many friends every week. What a life I have. My buddies and I became great ambassadors for Therapeutic Paws. We were invited to so many events. Told you I was a diva. Most of these events helped us with donations from the public to keep our team going. We really appreciate that. Recently, I joined a program to help support victims when they testify. I am so happy I can help them out one time when they really need it. I know, you're wondering if I ever take time off from my therapy dog work. Well, of course I do. I make sure I'm getting hugs and cuddles from my little friends in the neighborhood. We make each other so happy. I like getting my paws dirty. I know my mom hates that, but I love it. Remember my lake? I have other ones too. At cottages I visit. I love swimming. And of course my ball has to be close by. Boating is cool too. And just rolling around makes me so happy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We have dress up days. Heck, if it makes my mom happy and it's a great photo op for me, count me in. We've taken a break from visiting because of something called COVID. So I'm patiently waiting to get back to see my friends hopefully soon. Thanks so much for listening to me babble on, but let's face it, I think I have a great life, right? If you or any of your friends would be interested in becoming a therapy dog like me, check Therapeutic Paws of Canada website at www.tpoc.ca. You will have a blast and believe me. Lastly, I would like to dedicate this to my brother Chance, who I miss terribly. And we all, it was also an amazing therapy dog too. We all made a great team. Miss you, buddy.